Tunes from the bag. Hey, I'm here with my bag of fiddle tunes. Ah! <laughs> okay, who's ready to have a fun time today? Okay, let's do this. I got one. That was quick. What does this say? Lady of the Lake. Great. I play the Norm Edmonds version of Lady of the Lake at, at all the square dances that I, at, at, in Detroit. For whatever reason, people have really enjoyed it. And, um... And, uh... It takes me back, though, to, um my first experiences with any kind of American folk dance, like outside of uh, being forced to do it, it's in school. Um, when I was in college in Maine, uh, some friends asked me if I wanted to go to a contra dance with them and I was like, yeah, what's that? And we went out to an old schoolhouse and you know, there was, a few dozen people there doing contra dancing, which if you don't know what that is, it's pretty fun. It's kind of uh, similar to square dancing in some ways. Uh, there's a collar and you get a partner and you do a formations with people and it's kind of mentally challenging and stimulating and satisfying to, to execute these moves and see the whole group, you know, the symmetry of it and everything. So at first I would go there and I was not even interested in dancing. I would just watch the band. Um, they, they had a great fiddler who actually was a student at the same school as me, but I just didn't really talk to her much. I didn't have much contact with her. Um, I did ask her once, like, how did you get into this? Like, do, do you think I could join you sometime or learn some of these tunes? And she was like, you don't want to do it. It's awful. I hate it. <laughs> I was like, I was, I couldn't like, let go of the idea though. I, I, I always wanted to. I ended up doing a bunch of dancing, but she said, it's awful. You just have to play the same tune over and over again. And you know, it's, it's the tunes are really simple. And, and I think that's a common uh, difficulty that, um, that people have with, with fiddle tunes, especially playing for dances, but also maybe in jams. When you're coming from uh, a non-fiddle background, I don't even know where this person's background was. Uh, but, you know, for me, I had classical training as a kid and I, I did not really understand the culture of fiddle tunes. Um, it took a long time for me to just be involved in it and get, get to understand it's not just about playing music. It's about being with people. Uh, it's about, you know, choosing how you're going to spend your time. Uh, so, yes, we play the same tune over and over again, but it's not boring because for one thing, there's a dance happening and you're part of that. You're kind of like the engine driving that. So that's hugely satisfying and exciting for me. Um, but it's also a great opportunity to experiment with how you play the tunes uh, because people aren't really judging your choices very much. Most people aren't listening to every note you play. They're paying attention to the rhythm above all and the feeling that you get from playing, but it's not, um, you know, you're not being judged like in a competition or something. So I would always mess around a lot and I still do like in square dances. I love playing for square dances because of that, because it's my time to just goof off with the band. As long as we don't drop the rhythm or lose what's going on, like, you know, keep, keep your foot on the gas uh, without losing control. I love it. Uh, and it's a real workout. It's, it's, yeah, it takes some stamina. So anyway, I'll play the Lady of the Lake the way that we do it in the Detroit Square Dance Society Band. <laughs> and I really miss those guys. It's been, uh, I think it's been over a year. We were about to have a real big dance. We were going to have two big dances within a week or two of each other scheduled for right like a week or two Actually, the, the, the first dance was scheduled for before things were officially shut down. 
And we had to have these conversations with each other about, should we go on with it? It seems like we better not, but we really want to, and you know, it'll cheer people up, but we're definitely gonna spread a virus if, if, if this virus is a real thing, and if it's here, then it, it would be really bad to have a square dance. So we canceled that dance. The other, um, the other dance was gonna be a, even bigger, it was gonna be a fundraiser for uh, the local radio station, uh, WDET, which even if you don't live in Detroit, you can tune in on WDET.org. So many great programs, great music and talk and, and everything. Anyways, <laughs> I'll get to it. I'll play the tune. But uh, I want to give a shout out to Lindsay McCaw, Rachel Pearson, Kyle Rhodes, um, and Anna and Mick Gavin, and and Mike Gavin. That's that's like the hardcore of the Detroit Square Dance Society. Um, Hannah Lewis as well. And well, I could start naming more and more people, but anyway, this makes me think of you guys. I love you. That's all there is, there ain't no more. <laughs> bow to your partner, bow to the band. <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to do that again. Well, until then, stay well everybody. <laughs>